Ah, oh, hello, a very good morning to you, and uh, this is Remembrance Sunday. I'm Scotty McClure, I'm just doing a quick pop-up just for you, because I know that uh, you will be watching television, listening to radio. Uh, Derek McIntyre is live on Nation Radio at 11 o'clock for the silence. But I also thought sometimes... People like to have a little bit of a chit-chat about what's important to them and what's important to them on Remembrance Sunday. So if you would like to do that, please feel free to do so. There's Dee Gooley. Hello, Dee. Dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very good morning to everybody for Remembrance Sunday. Brandon McHugh and Jennifer Jonathan and Jane McDonald, dinky do, and a very good morning to you. Welcome to our little get-together live on Facebook Live because the interesting thing is we are global, we are worldwide. And um, as, uh, as our Lord actually said, where one or two are gathered together in his name, there is he also. How very interesting. Phil and Kerry, hello, dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's Sunday morning pop-up for Remembrance Sunday. Charles Thompson, lest we forget, absolutely, Charles, very important. And um, that's why I'm so glad that we're all able to get together for a few minutes now. I put out um, a Remembrance video from two years ago, 2016. So you'll see that going there. So I'm not going to repeat everything I said there, but I'm very interested in your own personal thoughts and your own personal remembrances. <clears throat> Scotty, can you tell Alison to get up and make my breakfast as soon as possible, says Andy Fair. Andy, surely you could make a start, maybe put the kettle on. Something like that. That would be an idea. <coughs> Excellent stuff. Now, uh, let me know if you'd like to stay with me and share in the silence at 11 o'clock. Not a problem. Hazel Smith and Gary Drummond, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. Remembrance Sunday morning. Scotty McClue, just for you. Um, I was so impressed with... Um, the young bagpipers who played at the War Memorial at Ardrishig this morning. My uncle Colin's name, C.M. McVicker, is on the 3945 plaque of the War Memorial at Ardrishig in Argyle. And at six o'clock this morning, young pipers were up playing the battles or round the War Memorial and people in the village heard it. Fantastic stuff. Here we go. Hello again from Dublin, Scotty, an ex-REMC veteran. Excellent stuff, Gordon Ritchie. And Dinky Do, thank you very much for coming and joining us. Jonathan Welch, Dee Gourley, I'll stay with you and the nation for the silence. Thank you, Dee. Very, very important. I'd like to stay with you for the minute's silence. Excellent stuff. Thank you. Please do. You're all very, very welcome because a lot of people are not necessarily sure how they would like to commemorate that particular moment in the year, that particular two minutes. And although we think 100 years ago exactly in a few minutes' time, the guns fell silent. And there's a lovely lady, happy birthday to Constance. Constance Peace. They called her Peace because she was born just as the guns fell silent. And today is her 100th birthday. The 11th hour of the 11th day of the 18th year of the century. 100 years since all these people got together in a railway carriage and uh, signed the armistice, the agreement to end the First World War. So there we are. I don't think it should ever have happened in the first place. And I give thanks to everyone who made the ultimate sacrifice, laid down their lives, and also for those who were wounded and all those whose lives were blighted by war. God, uh, Craig Gordon, good evening, Scotty. Dinky-doo, I'm on radio playing a remembrance song. 
and the last post and remembrance on air. Well, of course, people will remember Scotty McClure on Red Rose Radio, on Hallam FM, on Radio Forth, on Radio Clyde, on Scott FM, on L107, uh, all our remembrance services, and now, of course, Nation Radio. My colleague Derek McIntyre will be commemorating the silence at 11 o'clock. Good morning, says Craig. Excellent stuff. And uh, lest we forget, says Ewan Campbell, we mustn't forget, Ewan, because we don't want this happening again. And we need to get that message out to the world and out to world leaders. You cannot have racism when there is only one race, the human race. Religion has never, ever, ever caused a problem. What's caused the problem is a lack of knowledge and a lack of understanding of religion and of other people and of their creeds and of their beliefs. And we see, as we remember this morning, thank you to people from all over the world who are involved and have been involved in conflict and in war. We send you love. We send you strength. Let's try and keep the peace. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. But at the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. And as the guns fell silent 100 years ago, now, right now, we also fall silent to commemorate those who made the ultimate sacrifice, those who were involved in war, those who have been involved in war, those who have been affected by war, those who are still involved by war. Thank you very much for joining me for the silence this morning. I hope you felt that was a worthwhile and worthy way to commemorate that particular moment in time. Can I just share with you, when I worked at Scott FM, I lived in Edinburgh, just outside Edinburgh in East Lothian, which is all of you who know East Lothian will know it is a very, very beautiful part of the world. And uh, I lived in a, a, a small farm cottage. 
And outside my window, this was the view. Can I share it with you? Can you all, can you all see that? This was the view outside my window from my house. And when I looked out, that is what I would see in the uh, late summer. A field of poppies. And I think when I see this picture, it just appeared when I was uh, in the drawer to get my Glengarry this morning. And um, that picture appeared. So it was meant to be shared with every single one of you. It was meant to be shared with the world. A field of poppies outside the window. Outside all of our windows. The windows in our heart and the windows in our souls are fields of poppies, especially at this time. Let's see what you're all saying. Raymond Benson, thank you do, Mr. McClure. Lest we forget, says Craig. God bless us and save us, says we Annie Davis. Gerald McGuck, thank you very much for that, Gerald. Scotty, I've shared your video. Thank you, Nikki. Very much appreciated. I just wanted to pop up, as I say, because it was important that we all got together world unity this morning to commemorate the silence for remembrance together. Who else have we got here? There's D. Respect to all who gave the lives to Zalem McCauley. That was well worth it, Scotty. Thank you. That's beautiful, Scotty. Respect to all soldiers past and present who gave their all so that we can be as we are today. If you've got something you want to share, folks, feel free to do that. You're very, very welcome. Um, I'm going to be popping up tonight at 9 o'clock sharp live on Facebook Live for our normal Sunday evening show, just half an hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment for you. So there we are. So join me tonight at 9 o'clock sharp. And of course, join me at 10 o'clock sharp on Nation Radio 96.3 on the FM or www.nationradio.scot. Come and join us for two hours. Joseph Markey says, good morning. John Houston, well done. Scotty, thank you, John. And uh, lovely to have you all with us. Thank you very much. If we can share and share and share this video for Remembrance Sunday. I thank you for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. I'll see you tonight at 9 o'clock sharp. And you can hear me tonight and phone me at 10 o'clock sharp. I can't say fairer than that unless I can't pronounce my F's or my THs. This is Scotty McClue saying a big thank you to every single one of you. Dinky too.